Welcome to Pixarize a scene for Trisomy 21 or Down Syndrome. This image takes place on the set of a movie about a bunch of guys who go to Vegas and have really, really bad hangovers the next day. You've probably never heard of it. By using Pixarize to prep for your exams, you're already making better decisions than pretty much everyone in this image, so let's dive in. We can start with this wine rack. I'm surprised the guys here have left anything after their night of debauchery. See how the rack is shaped like an X? This chromosome-shaped wine rack will help you remember that trisomy 21 is a chromosomal disorder. And to help you remember that patients have three copies of chromosome 21, recall that technically you have to be 21 years old to consume alcohol in the United States, a law I'm sure all of you watching adhere to rigidly throughout high school and college. Moving on. So now we know that Down syndrome is caused by an extra copy of chromosome 21. But how does that happen? If we take a look out of this window, we can see some convoluted highway junctions. These winding roads probably cause about 95% of Nevada's road rage, but they're here to remind us that 95% of trisomy 21 cases are caused by non-disjunction events during meiotic cell division. Highway junctions, non-disjunction. We've made this non-disjunction highway junction larger than the next two symbols since it represents the vast majority of Down syndrome cases. And speaking of transportation, let's talk about translocation. Of the remaining 5% of Down syndrome cases, 4% are the result of unbalanced Robertsonian translocation events. We can remember this as we stare longingly at this portrait of Robert for Robertsonian, Downey for Down syndrome, Junior. For Junior. It's just like the one I have in my own house, so I'm well acquainted with this particular symbol. RDJ is sporting some translocated components from his robo suit, but they're unbalanced. He's only wearing one of them on one arm. If he carried a Robertsonian translocation on the arm of his 21st chromosome, his kids could inherit it and present with trisomy 21. Now let's clear up that last 1% of Down syndrome cases. Above the portrait, we can see that this hotel room has hung a mosaic tile to give the space something of a Greco-Roman vibe and to remind us that 1% of cases are due to genetic mosaicism. Since mosaicism only represents 1% of all cases, we've made the mosaic on the wall smaller than the other two symbols. Okay. Since we've gotten through the pathological basis of Down syndrome, let's move on to the clinical features, starting with some early signs that can be picked up in utero. Take a look at this guy. He's certainly not having a great time. His pouty, condescending plugging of his nose reminds us that fetuses with Down syndrome can have an absent or dysplastic nasal bone on ultrasound. He's also nursing his hangover headache, or maybe it's just the headache he's gotten from dealing with his degenerate friends, with a cold compress. This is going to help us remember that another ultrasound finding is nuchal translucency, or a fluid-filled sac behind the fetal neck. Maybe he should be happy that he just has crappy friends and doesn't also have a fluid-filled sac behind his neck. That's pretty gross. Next, let's discuss the many clinical findings a child with trisomy 21 will present with, starting with the GI tract. If you've ever had a hangover, this one shouldn't be too hard to remember. Or forget. Take a look at how our next character, Zach, is puking green bile all over the floor. Just like Zach, newborns with Down syndrome can present with bilious vomiting as a result of duodenal atresia when the duodenum doesn't properly canalize. And speaking of things getting backed up, let's turn our attention to the other window in the room. Do you remember why the guys tried to fill the room with water in the movie? Neither do I, and neither do they. In any case, it's a good thing the window shut off the flow because the backed up hose is a perfect image to help us recall that trisomy 21 is associated with Hirschsprung's disease. Hirschsprung's disease is characterized by a massive dilatation of the colon proximal to an obstruction and a narrowing distal to it. In fact, it looks almost exactly like our hose here. In this case, the obstruction is the window, but in Hirschsprung's, it's an area of failed enteric nervous development, specifically the ganglion cells, and an amotile bowel. 
Now let's follow the direction of that hose down to this rendering of professional boxer turned actor steel jawed Mike, so we can talk about some external findings in Down syndrome. That ridiculous eye tattoo points right to the inside corner of his eye, doesn't it? Well, eh, maybe it doesn't, but it's certainly helpful for reminding us that the skin over the inner eye is called the canthus, and that prominent epicanthal folds are associated with Down syndrome. Steel jawed Mike getting that tat seemed really dumb at the time, but now that we know that he got it just to help us remember prominent epicanthal folds, we might owe him an apology. Let's turn our attention to our friend Heather in the center of this image. She's going to help us with another characteristic finding in Trisomy 21. See her brushing her makeup onto her eyes? That's not to cover up her own heinous facial tattoo. It's to remind us that Down syndrome patients often have gray or brown spots on the iris called brush field spots. Now let's pan down to her feet. Yeah, I wouldn't go barefoot in this room either, even if you gave me another beautiful portrait of Robertsonian Down syndrome Jr. Anyway, Heather is taking one for the team to show us with her toe spacer that a gap between the first and second digits is commonly seen in trisomy 21 patients. Thanks, Heather. Best of luck to you and your feet, Heather. Now if we jump back to our hapless friend Zach, let's examine his hand. The string from that nearby mask is making a ring around his palm, just like the single palmer or simian crease often seen on the hands of patients with Down syndrome. Let's take a closer look at that creepy mask. This demonic looking thing is here to represent the demons writing your board exams. Just kidding, it's to show us that Alzheimer's dementia has an early onset in Down syndrome because the amyloid precursor protein is located on chromosome 21 and is thus triplicated along with the rest of the chromosome. Zach might not be suffering from dementia yet, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't remember much, judging by all that puking. Alright, we're almost done with this area of the image, so hang in there. Between Heather and Zach, we can see a heart-shaped couch cushion. I don't know about you, but if I were Heather, I wouldn't be too into Zach after I saw him projectile vomit all over the floor. And indeed, we can see that the heart is broken in the center of the pillow. Just like the broken heart pillow, the hearts of those with Down syndrome are often defective. Specifically, complete atrioventricular septal defects are a common finding. Now I think we should address the alligator in the room. And I mean literally, there's literally an alligator in the center of this room. <laughs> Yikes. This big boy is going to remind us that ALL, or acute lymphocytic leukemia, is increased in Down syndrome populations. Get it? ALL? ALL alligator? Alligator? All the gator? You get it. Our AL alligator is holding a fancy amulet in his mouth, both because he's a high rolling alligator and also because he wants us to know that there's an increased incidence of AML, or acute myeloid leukemia, in Down syndrome patients. Didn't you know that AML is an abbreviation for amulet? Now you do. Finally, let's get back to Hirschsprung's hose. It's there to water a plant with nodular buds. These nodules represent lymph nodes, and like with ALL and AML, trisomy 21 patients are at an increased risk for the development of lymphoma. Before we finish up, I almost forgot this little guy over here. This turtle slowly fleeing for its life from our leukemia alligator, leukemia alligator, leukemia alligator, is there to remind us that trisomy 21 patients are developmentally delayed. Because what's more delayed than a turtle? I'm pulling for this little guy and for Heather's bare toes to make it out of this room alive. Finally, let's talk about the lab findings in Down syndrome. This end table has some things on top of it and some things below it. The spatial arrangement here represents elevated and decreased laboratory levels, which is a trend that we like to follow at Pixarize. Up high, we have a big plate of chorizo, there to represent elevated levels of beta-HCG, better known as beta-human chorizo gonadotropin. The chorizo is sitting next to a no-entry sign that someone probably stole that night and it's there to signify elevated levels of inhibin A. Below the table, we see a puppy making some serious moves for that chorizo. She represents low levels of PAP-A, because PAP-A sounds like pup-bay. 
puppy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, to our Pape's right, we see a knocked over estriol stroller. The stroller is there to remind us that there are decreased levels of estriol in Down syndrome patients. And the scattered AFP alphabet letters help us remember that AFP levels, that is alpha feta protein, is decreased in Down syndrome as well. Dang, that was a doozy, but we made it. Down syndrome, further represented by all the down feathers scattered around the image, is a chromosomal abnormality with numerous characteristic findings. But if you cool it with the liquor and you remember this hangover scene on test day, you should be able to ace any Down syndrome questions on your exam and be on your way to Vegas. Or a bed. Probably on your way to a bed. Well, until next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.